everybody. Okay, so one of our favorite things is when um, content creators do like little game shows where they create some game that has to do with board games and, uh, you know, one of them reads the clues and then somebody, the other person guesses um, and we love to guess along at home. So uh, we did that a couple of days ago, weeks ago, whenever this post, we, we did that. We posted one already where Jane yep. took games off the top hundred and just gave one word clues and then I had to guess. This time I had to come up with a game. I picked games, um, I did the top 200 and they had to be games that we played so that you were familiar with them. Okay. Um, because what I did was I took the uh, one star reviews, um, a couple times I had to extend to like two or three stars just to get enough comments that would work, but like pans, people that hated the game. And um, I have those comments and I have three of them. They go from harder to easier and let's see if you can guess them in how many clues okay all right so the first one uh looks great but if you mess up your first round it's almost impossible to get back in a good position the pass of your turn is the most awful part of the game if you finish the first in the round there's nothing you can do other than wait for others to finish the round disappointed as this game looks good now, am I guessing now, or are we holding out sure. for all the clues? Guess now. Okay. Viticulture. No. Okay. Okay. Uh, that That is, that can be a uh, weak point in a game if somebody has to pass and wait. Well, I just know in, in Viticulture, you pass early to get, uh, you can pass early to get higher yep. on that track. Yeah. All right. Suffers from no player interaction. Just a solitaire game with others on the table. Research board is a separate mini game which does not help gameplay. Game with a research board? Dinosaur Island? Nope. Okay. All right. I was very excited to play this game because of the hype through YouTube, friends, and the high rating it has received. Now I feel like it was overrated. The game tries to combine multiple elements we're familiar with, such as deck building, worker placement, resource management. It felt like the game spread itself too thin on everything. Deck building is in there, but I would hardly call it deck building when you barely get to go through your deck, especially when you get near the end of rounds. You'll only get to use the face value effect a couple of times to none. Lost Ruins of Arna. Yes. <laughs> the bigger clue is coming up. It talks about the ar archaeologist, but you got it. Okay. Okay. All right. That is number 28. Did you get it? All right. Keep track. Let us yeah. know. So that's ranked number 28. Okay. Okay. Um, and the idea, of course, is that these are games that lots of people love. So yeah. taking the, the pans is kind of funny because the games are not hurting because somebody didn't like yeah. them. Okay. Random things happen. Read random stuff. Find a random sticker. Get richer. The attempt at legacy spoils a decent game. Clank legacy? Yes. Oh. Wow. I, we get richer, I think. Yeah. I don't know why. I, I, why I zeroed in on Clank, but I did. No, you did good. That was good. I, uh, I, get richer at least eliminates like pandemic. Right. Like, that's true. And it was clearly legacy. Yep. Okay, so, uh, good job. You did that one, one. All right. Random luck fest. How this gets Kennerspiel is absolutely beyond me. What a disappointment of a, well, not quite a game, really. Sitting down and rolling a D6 against your friends 50 times in a row. Highest total wins. Has similar appeal to watching paint dry. Up to you. D6. So this has dice? Hmm. Settlers of Catan? <laughs> light bag Terrible builder guess. with okay light bag builder with push your luck hated it at the heart it's pure luck the bag is illusory control random nonsense heads down multiplayer solo indeed you are not supposed to look at your fellow gamers boards as you could be cheating really this is the opposite of what i want in a party game too long for a filler quacks and Quellimer? yes oh what he said like playing. Like a D6. Oh. Now we didn't get to the third clue or third clue, but this is my favorite. It's okay, my read, favorite read, read, negative read. comment anywhere. No ducks, false advertising. <laughs> that would have given it away. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I didn't write down the numbers on those two. Okay. Or maybe I didn't. It's just not showing. Nope. All right. Ready for the next one? Yep. So you are three for three. 
doing yeah, great. Yeah, uh, some better than others. All right. Fine at two, but as a group, boring and repetitive. Good luck with that. <laughs> uh, that's not very specific. Um, Agricola? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, same old formula. Cooperative games are not my jam. If you like mm. cooperatives, you may like this. This is the same old formula of player takes a turn, the game punishes. It's all based on luck. You don't really make any meaningful decisions. Each best choice is obvious on your turn, so it's more like the game is playing you. Hard pass. I prefer games with strategy, puzzles, and options. Pandemic? Nope. Nice theme. Simple co-op. Pick up and deliver against the monsters. Fun to play once, but enough for me. If you have children, buy it. Children? Monsters on board? No, that's not cooperative. Forget that guess. Um, you get it if you think. Uh, it's cooperative. Oh, horrified. Yes. Horrified. Pick up and deliver monsters. It's, yeah. That was 180, 188. Okay, okay. It was, it was high. At one point, it was like 17, I think. Really? Yeah, it was yeah. really high at some point. Okay. Or maybe that was the next one. But it was really high. Some of the comments like talk about how high... The mm -hmm. game is in the ratings. Okay. All right. Only in BGG land is this the best party game. Way overrated and not a good party game for people who like party games. Edit. I've lowered my rating from a four to a one as a protest vote. Here we go. Cur currently ranked 17 overall. Absolutely ridiculous. It's an okay. It's, it's an okay. It's not the 17th best game ever published. And it's certainly not the best party game. So not a good party game. But a party game that made it to 17? Wow, that's that's pretty unusual. Just one? Nope. Okay. Okay. All right. This is a fun party game. It has variants for lots of different numbers of players. And I like rate the rating of win stats at the end of the game based on how long it took you to do the puzzle. All that said, I have to give the game a one, as it's not really a game. It's a word association puzzle that requires at least two people to attempt. Now, if this was rating it as a puzzle or an icebreaker socialization tool, I would give it a solid eight, as I have to rate it is not a game. Code names. Yes. Okay. Um, I just wanted to read the uh, top row of the last comment on that is, maybe this is a fun game for kids or totally drunk. But normal, intelligent people find it very boring. There were obvious, always obvious one-word answers, so zero errors. I don't know. I don't believe that. But all right. Well, that was it. You did pretty well, dear. I think you got them all. With... Sort of. I did sort of guess wrong on the fourth one. I think it was. I said monsters on board, but took it back. Yep. So I kind of cheated. Cheated. That's but, right. We'll, we'll count it. Um. So if you like this, we did a series of videos on TikTok. Uh. Where we read one star reviews just for fun. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> they're pretty funny. Actually, kind of stopped doing it, but we could pick it up again. Yeah, I kind of want to pick it up again. Some of these just make me make me cackle. I enjoy this. Yeah. And it reminds me, if you are following us and like our content, to check us out on TikTok because yeah. we do every day, every day, we pick a holiday or historical event and pick a game to, to match it. Each of us. Yep. So it's like a little top one list. <laughs> so. All right. Remember. Every day that you game is a holiday. Mm -hmm.